minutes of the last meeting. We need to get approval for that. Need a motion. I'll make that motion. Chairman. Anybody want to second it? Sure. Subdivision off one left on West Turning Road, Deer Point Circle, Countrywood Court, Farm Ridge Drive, Crooked, Crooked Creek Drive, Billy G. Phelps Drive. <laughs> no, I need a motion on that. That's emergency purpose and only. Okay. It's just that subdivision to start now. I feel like it's going to be a safety. 73. Anybody want to say it? I should know, but. 73 house, subdivision. Yeah, yeah. that's phase one. Yeah. All four? All right. All right. Okay. 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 okay, approve adding back four roads to the official road list. Mail Lane, Allen's Community. Valley View Drive off of Thomas Road. Robin Lane off of Valley View Drive. Bluebird. Lane off of Valley View Drive. Call for. Aye. Uh, any older new business? New business I've got. Nobody got the name of the fellow. He come in here and complained about garbage issue on the mountain and uh, he said whoever the garbage fellow up there that picks up up there was picking up garbage and bringing it nothing on his property and he don't like it. I don't blame him. And there wasn't nobody from the county. It was a private people pick up trash which yeah you know ever, since you brought it up I mean you know we get people all the time call or somebody next to them just throw trash out on them and then we you know I tell them that the people putting trash on them. The Sheriff's Department can issue them a ticket. Uh, if they're putting trash in a stream, TDEC can do something about it. If they've got kids there and they're trashing stuff up, the Health Department maybe or Child Services can get involved. But uh, I know a lot of people call us about, you know, houses next door that's jumped up and around subdivisions and uh, um, of course there's really nothing, you know, we don't have any kind of anything a county can do to make people clean up next to uh, well, I don't know who picks up up there, and that's Randall's district. He's not here, so maybe some of him or Jesse want to know who. I know I can find out from the convenience center up there. Yeah. Whoever brings it in, and we try to find who it is. But uh, I know, uh, you know, with the city bringing up the ordinance about the cars, I mean, I, I personally don't want us to get involved in the car haul business. The county can do that, but and I don't really want to tell people what to do out in the county to their property, but. Someday we're we'll going to have to have something to you know, protect people before somebody next to them has got the stuff. That off of the old 42 down there across from the Duster Park, I believe it's the son that got all them cars around his house. That's damaging the property value of everybody around him, in my opinion. I mean, it looks like a junkyard. That's all they want to do. We voted that down from Kenneth. Yeah. Here. He tried to pass it from Kenneth. I'm like being, I don't think we need to worry. Well, you know, nobody, we'll do a nobody wants to see that. Uh, nobody wants that in that butt. Then mm -hmm. again, we don't want to tell everybody what to do. We ain't right. a big city either. So it's, you know, it's, but, but if you open that up, I mean, to be honest, I've had people call me and complain because somebody next door to them had cattle. And they said, well, what would you do if the people next to you had cattle? I said, well, I've got a calf out in my yard right now. I've got cattle. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know where it ends because some people don't like that. Agriculture just seems and, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, that's exempt anywhere, right? Yeah, but it's a subdivision. Somebody's calling out and said they had an empty lot. And they had cattle in it. Which I mean, unless you know, first a homeowner association, they can do something about 
That'd be up to them. That'd be up to them. That's that's if you sign up and then you're in the home subdivision with the rest of it. But I myself don't want to go out on that property until I watch them like it. Well, I, I just added that on there because the public did come in and complain. But I'll find out from the convenience center who it is up there when you go talk to them because if, if they are dumping trash on those people, the sheriff's department can do something about that. Yeah. Or if people out in the county have somebody throws trash out on you, we'll find out if they go through the trash bag and find out who it was, they can do something about that. Yeah, even if they find their. <laughs> You paid somebody to haul your trash off, well, and they things. hauled it off on somebody's private property, and they find your name in it. You're responsible because your name's in it. Right. Seems like most of the stuff we find is got great idiots saying. Okay. No, <laughs> but it's bad that people trash the neighborhood. It's it is. It's a shame. I got 42 one time. I said up on the Wolf River. I had them all come up there and clean that whole dump where they just dumped it over the hill. Well, in the in the years to come, it'll be more. We'll be dealing with this more because we got bigger subdivisions starting, and a lot of the boom and it's going on here in the Putnam County is overflowing, and the people are building houses here, and, and we're going to be hearing more about it. It's, someday, you know, somebody's going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to we figure out somehow. Somebody will. That's true. Because like that subdivision with Keith and Frank's talking about, these two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar homes all around that junk pile. People don't want. No, that needs one for sale there, and I'll bet you it'll dock you $75,000. They can't sell it. What junk pile everywhere, what the hell? It's just all the way around. It's you can't hardly see it. All the way around. You can't see that. It's car runs. Yeah, you gotta get it. Yeah, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. It's on. Anything else? It looks worse than the old lower down there off of up the hill down the road. Yeah, I'm bold. Uh, our next meeting is Tuesday, February the 5th at 5 o'clock. I need a motion to adjourn. Hmm? You got it? Yep. Oh, I'm not going to do it. All for? They die or bounce?